I know this looks funny, but what I see in the headset is absolutely stunning. Now, Assetto Corsa Competizione has never been flawless in VR, but with the Pimax Crystal and its ability to sharpen the image only where you look with its eye tracking feature, this racing simulation is meant to be played in VR. Yep, after experiencing this game in VR, I am even more convinced that this is the future of racing sims and not a triple screen setup. With the clarity of the Pimax Crystal, the cockpits look absolutely amazing and even better, it runs at a very stable and consistent frame rate. The Pimax Crystal now has a 72Hz mode and that along with the eye tracking ensures the game never dips below the refresh rate, at least on my gaming rig. Even racing here during a heavy storm with 24 drivers on the grid, it stays at that stable 72 frames per second. And I can tell you one thing, driving in VR with a heavy storm going on and other beasts trying to overtake you is such a freaking rush. This is really something I can't describe or show you unless you experience it yourself in a VR headset. I just wish electronic shops would demo VR more as that is, in my opinion, the only way to really get people into VR. And well, the FPS does stay stable in multiplayer as well, of course. I was also surprised how well I did in multiplayer. It has been a while since I booted up a racing sim with my racing rig, but I drove exceptionally well in my opinion and in my first race, after I guess 2 years, I finished 4th on a grid of 12 and that I am sure is only thanks to VR. I always played iRacing in the past and I still remember the moment I got my first headset, I, was, uh, I broke personal record after record. Just the fact that you can easily see the corners, lean into them and have a way better perception or feeling of how fast you are going, it, it just helps. And what I really enjoyed as well is just to park the car next to the circuit and watch the cars pass by. Such a force when these cars zoom by and well, you know, if they are gone I have time to check out the car from the outside. And not just the outside, even when the car, uh, and I, I just can't help to do this every time when I am in the garage, I just check out the car from the inside as well. You know, something you just can't do in such detail on a flat screen, you know, getting my head closer to the pedals or the steering wheel, the buttons, everything looks fantastic. Now I do have to say the game crashes on me sometimes, not during a race luckily, but when getting out of the race. I haven't figured out why, but I will have to look deeper into it and I will put it in the comments down below if I, uh, if I, got, if I found a fix. Also, it might look somewhat blurry on the recording screen here, but in the headset itself it's sharp to wherever I look. Now to not make this video too long, yes, with the Pimax Crystal it's definitely worth going back to Assetto Corsa Competizione. I have also tried it with the Quest 3 and although with some tricks you can make the performance great, the eye tracking in the Pimax Crystal really does wonders compared to the Quest 3. Now I would seriously suggest if you are considering a sim setup with triple screens to at least take VR into consideration. If you are going for a triple screen setup, I assume you have some money to spend and most likely quite a beefy computer as well. VR could really be a good alternative and save you some space as well, especially with headsets like you know the Pimax Crystal or starting with the Quest 3 for example, if you don't have that much money to spend. Now what do you guys think about this? Flat screen, triple screens or VR? It's, it's hard, like I said, to test it, there is not many demo booth around for, for people to get convinced. Anyway, I'm going back to my racing sim and if racing is not your thing, check out my VR video where I fly the Spitfire, another pretty surreal experience. I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao ciao.